You seem to have your head on straight. What are you doing hanging out with these guys? What? I can't do nothing. I'm not the police or anything. I mean, I don't even have a gun. What's going on? Everyone is just really stressed out right now. Well, me too. I'm the one who's handcuffed here. What are you guys? Are you terrorists or what? You wouldn't understand. Look, you'd be surprised what I understand. What's that supposed to mean? I'm better than what I do. I, I mean, give me a break. A security guard. You know, it's for guys who couldn't make it as a cop or anything. I mean, day in, day out, I do the same thing. Some people might like that. Yeah, well, not me. I wanted more out of life. It just, it just didn't happen. Well, nobody put a gun to your head and made you do that. Yeah, well, sort of. They did. I mean, I mean it's kind of embarrassing. I used to be an accountant. You don't look like an accountant. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, you look like... I, I, sh I don't even know. Well, you know, I mean, growing up, you know, my parents, they scared the shit out of me. I mean, they made me feel like if I followed my dreams that I would be a loser. So I did what they expected, you know, I got a steady job with a steady paycheck. Fucking me, huh? I was miserable doing that. <laughs> it's the most excitement I've had in years. Why aren't you an accountant anymore? Why? Hey, why? Because a year ago I ended up getting sick and I had the flu. And so I didn't show up for work for a week. And when I came back, not one person asked where I was. You know, was I alright? Nothing. It was like I wasn't visible. You know, I, my life didn't mean nothing to nobody. Well, don't you have a wife or kids? I mean, you're a pretty good looking guy. Sure you had lots of girlfriends, huh? I, I had some girlfriends, yeah, and they. They were happy to have a guy, you know, with a steady paycheck. But the guy that they were seeing wasn't the guy that I saw. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I want a steady paycheck, you know. I mean, doesn't everybody? So, what? You quit your job so you wouldn't have a steady paycheck? That doesn't make any sense. I, I didn't quit my job. I mean, I finally got the guts to quit my job. And this way I could go back to school and study art, you know, and the history of art. I want to be a teacher, and, and, and you know, I want to teach kids, and I want them to learn from me and listen to me, and I want to be known for doing something noble and, you know, real good and affecting these people's lives, you know? I want to be able to lay my head down at night and, and feel comfortable and real positive about what I did that day. Good. Now you know how we feel. Check this out. Puke, you should puke. Anyone and everyone who has ever eaten the flesh of a murdered animal or worn the flesh of a murdered animal should see footage like that and then go throw up. Is that like your leader or something? Look, I don't want to get in trouble with your friends or anything, but, you know, it seems like you got a lot on your mind, and I'm a good listener. So if you want to talk about anything. I'm not going to tell you anything about who we are. 
don't don't tell me anything. I, I don't want to know. But you know, what's with all this video? It's disgusting, and I've never seen anything like it. What is that? I have. I've seen worse, close up. So what do you think? You, you think you could change all that? A few people, you, you can't change that. We can do something. Look, don't be crazy. All right, most of the world eats meat. You, you'll never be able to stop this. How do you think you could? Because, because I wanted to do something to stop me from crying every night. It's just tired of feeling so powerless. So what do you do? You vandalize places? I can't do a single thing to stop wars. Okay, I can't cure AIDS or stop child abuse, but this, the torture of innocent animals, I can do something about that. Yeah, you can end up going to jail. What will your parents think about that? My dad. Biggest hypocrite I ever met. He's at the church every night, pretending like he's Mr. Good Christian. But yet he doesn't love life and the life that God created on this planet. I mean, how can you love a God and not show any compassion towards the animals? It must be nice not to care. It must be nice not to think about what happens to those innocent animals who feel pain and loneliness and they don't understand why they're being tortured to death. It must be nice just to be so far removed that it just does not matter to you what happens to these animals so that you can eat what you eat and wear what you wear. And it must be nice not to know what I know. Because if you could see into the eyes of those innocent animals who are literally being torn apart so that people like you can eat their flesh, then maybe, maybe you would be like me. And then you would care about what there is to care about. Your God certainly isn't doing anything to help them. So maybe he does not exist. Or he does not have any power or he does not care. And if any of those things are true, then that's good enough reason not to worship such a god. Maybe it makes me feel better. Because I am able to make a difference. I am able to care. And I'm able to save a life. And so maybe, maybe I am God. Maybe we all are God. Maybe anyone who saves a life, who makes a positive difference in someone else's life, is God. And it's not some old man in the sky. It's, it's us. And we're in charge of doing good things, just like we're in charge of doing bad things. Look, I don't want to hurt any of you people and I hope you're not looking at me like I'm the man or anything I mean I'm just a guy doing my job I'm a cog in the wheel you know I mean I wish I could be a hero but I'm not so if you guys could you know just let me walk away I mean just, just let me go we have a better idea